Good morning, everyone, and a very happy Tuesday to you all. Uh, we're still taking action. Just as a reminder, the entire month of May is about taking action. The first action was give yourself permission. Um, if you don't give yourself permission to move on, you're going you're gonna to get stopped right off the bat. Simple as that. So give yourself permission to move on. Give yourself permission to heal. Now, you know, it kind of struck me that, because I look, I, as, I, as I mentioned in my post, I am a big believer in the law of attraction. And there goes the hairdryer. So you'll have to excuse that while this video is going. Um, big believer in the law of attraction. But here's the thing, right? I'm a really positive person. I prefer to see the positive in everything. But what happens when you're faced with a situation and no matter how hard you try, everything that you try, you try and turn your thoughts, you try exercise, you try changing your diet, you try all of these things and all of these thoughts still keep happening. The negative thoughts, the, the, the damaging thoughts, um, you know, that you're not good enough or that um, you're not worthy or... Uh, you know what, it always comes down to those two things. Okay, so let's just get that out right off the bat. Um, what happens when that happens? You know, just, just in the process of continually trying to drag your thoughts back, because that's how it can feel, like you're dragging yourself back into positivity every single time. And it shouldn't be that way. Hi, Lee. Um, it shouldn't be that way. You know, you should be able to move forward smoothly. And that can happen once you start releasing the energy that's trapped in your body. Now, if you've seen some of the videos, if you've been part of the group from the very beginning, you know that that's my area of expertise. You know that that's what I do. Now, I used to do an awful lot of hands-on work, but it took its toll on my body. So I don't do an awful lot of that anymore. The energetic connection through the online connection is as stable. It's... I sound like I'm talking about, you know, the bloody NBN here in Australia, huh? Um, the, the connection via online contact um, is as stable and is as effective as the hands-on treatments, okay? So what I want to share with you guys today is, is a process I actually take myself through quite regularly. Honestly, I do. Because each time you move forward in life, you get presented with either another situation with a similar story or you get presented with something that feels like it's out of the blue or something that triggers you. Okay. So first of all, I want to share with you, yes, I posted this document earlier on um, and print that out. Do yourselves a favor, print that out. It's awesome. It basically goes through different organs in your body and tells you a little bit about what emotions are associated with those particular organs. Um, it's my Bible for when I'm dealing with either physical or emotional issues that people are experiencing. Um, apart from the intuitive side of things, this, this little table here, this little chart, really helps to sort of solidify what I intuit when I'm working with people. Okay, so... What's the release technique I'm talking about? Okay, so there's a couple of different things that you can do. The one I'm going to show you today, please, 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 do not try and follow along in the video. Okay, I want you to watch, I want you to listen, and then I want you to find a quiet place and a safe space. Because if you do this right, you will get triggered. Okay, and you need to be in a space where you feel comfortable releasing emotion, okay? So we're going to get started. I'm going to reposition the phone because I'm going to lie on the floor. Okay, here we go. Hey, Sarah. Okay, so... Oh, that's not right, is it? There we go. So, guys, the area that we're going to focus on now is basically from the base of the rib cage down to the bottom of the intestinal tract, okay? Now what you got obviously going on in here, you got your stomach, just below that you've got diaphragm, on the left, uh, liver, I think, God, I've forgotten my anatomy already! 
um, gallbladder, pancreas. We then go into the small intestine and the large intestine. Every single aspect of your digestive system also plays a part in how you process emotion. So if you think about the stomach area as being the first point of intake, that's, that's when you're taking in emotion, the, the stomach is affected. Okay, and that's usually where I see most of um, my clients experience issues at the very beginning. So, onto the technique now. What you're doing, okay, it's really important you have your knees bent and up, okay? What that does is it stops the energetic flow through your body and it, it kind of locks it in to this part of your body, okay? All right, now I'm not going to do the technique myself because when you go into a release um, it can be quite intense however i'm going to walk you through the process so knees bent you need to relax feel comfortable get your clothing adjusted to whatever feels right and then just taking some nice deep breaths Then you're going to get your hands and the first thing you're going to do is just hover them over your stomach area. Now, if you are experiencing emotional issues and if you are in tune with your emotions, you will feel a sensation of uh, possibly a bit of resistance. Okay, so you're just hovering over the stomach area, then you're hovering over the sides of your abdomen, down to the intestine, lower intestinal tract, and kind of hover around the small intestine area. What you will find, if you do this for a couple of minutes, what you will find, so just running your hands up and down, you will find that your hands kind of stutter or stagger over a particular area of your body. When you find that, place your hands on that area. And again, just take some really gentle but very deep breaths. Oh, okay, so... I'm not going to do that because that will take me into a release. Um, placing those hands over that area. So it could be around the stomach. It could be around the liver. It could be around the gallbladder. It could be around the small intestine or along the passage of the large intestine. Okay. What you then want to do. Okay. All right. What you then want to do. Okay. Is not do, do this necessarily. But. You can go to that area on with either your left hand or your right hand. So what's the difference? The difference is if you're using your left hand, the emotions that are going to come up will be reflective of you, okay, how you feel about yourself. If you use your right hand, you will start getting images of um, issues that have impacted you through your life that I wouldn't say you didn't have control over, but you were impacted by external influences, okay? So we're going to go back into position, okay? And just a note here, I'm not going to go to the heart, okay? Because my philosophy is you have to set the groundwork, okay? You have to set the groundwork. If you don't set the foundations, if you go straight to the heart and deal with what's going on in the heart and you don't have the rest of the body supporting that process, you're going to go into a, I want to swear, you are going to go into a meltdown. So when you're dealing with your own emotional, I can't read comments, by the way. Sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. Blind as a bat. Um, if you go straight to the heart, all I can say is don't. Okay, just don't. If you are in tune and this works for you, you need to start with a solid foundation. Okay? All right, flipping the camera again. Oh, there I am. Okay. Gee, the boobage is a bit heavy on that, isn't it, when I do that? Sorry to all any men watching and ladies. Not the most pleasant thing in the world. So, left hand on the stomach. What you want to be doing is taking some nice deep breaths and you're not pressing just yet, okay? You're holding, taking deep breaths, and start listening to your thoughts, start listening to your body. Is there any reaction at all? Now for myself, at this point, there isn't. So I'm going to try my right hand. 
And as soon as I put my right hand on there, I'm getting triggered, okay? So if I were to put my right hand over my stomach area, I start feeling the need to convulse. <sighs> so if this happens to you, you need to go with it, okay? Go with it. People, <laughs> the reason you're trapped, the reason you're stuck is that you probably stopped these emotions coming through when they originally uh, made themselves known. If you want to go through this process and unlock these emotions, you have to go with whatever's coming through, okay? So in my case, putting my hand on my stomach and I'm still getting a really, really strong negative reaction. If I were doing this on my own, I'd be here. And it does actually go into quite, you'll see, look, my legs start, and I start clenching. Okay. <sighs> go through it, go with it. If you then move over to the liver, the liver holds anger. You do not want to do this unless you are in a relatively stable state. Okay. So going over to the liver, I actually cleared my liver on the weekend, um, emotionally that is, going over to the liver. Um, you do the same sort of thing. You hover your hands over it. Now I'm over my liver now with my right hand and it's perfectly fine. I'm not getting any reaction whatsoever. Now if I switch to my left hand, again, there's resistance. I'm, I'm getting a sense that there's still some stuff to be cleared through there. Once you've done the initial release, what you can do is to delve a little bit deeper physically. Actually go in there. Go in there a bit deeper with... Oh, go in a bit deeper with your hands. Now, if you have any physical or medical issues, be very careful with this process, okay? I don't want anyone getting like a ruptured gallbladder or anything like that. So if you know that you have medical conditions, go slowly with this, okay? So um, just to share with you, when I did this for myself on the weekend, I cried for about... Oh, and I actually didn't cry. I screamed. I screamed a lot. Frickin' hell. Anyone who had heard it would have thought that, uh, I don't know what would have been going on. It wasn't quite a massacre, but there was a lot of moaning in pain. Okay. Now, I wasn't actually in physical pain. This was emotional pain. Right. So the most important thing is go with it. You can then go and you can check your gallbladder. Okay. So going over to that side. Gallbladder is about feeling stuck. It is about resentment. Um, again, refer to the chart that I posted. Okay. Now I'm fine from a left-hand perspective on the gallbladder. I'm going to the right hand. And I'm fine. There's a little tinge just here. Um, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's nothing for me to worry about. You then move to the small intestine. Here's the thing about the small intestine. We absorb all the nutrients from our food in the, in the small intestine. So how does that relate to emotion? If you are having issues absorbing the lessons or absorbing the emotions that you're experiencing, you're going to experience stuff in the small intestine. The large intestine, obviously, from a physical perspective, is about eliminating waste. Huge, huge issue for 95 percent of people how do you get rid of shit literally literally i did this release technique on myself oh probably about oh, three months ago and i used affirmations and i did all of this sort of thing and i said i release myself from all negativity i allow all negativity to leave my body guys without getting into too much detail i had intestinal issues within half an hour of doing that and it lasted probably about six hours. I eliminated so much waste um, that it wrecked my body for about three days. So I don't take these processes lightly, okay? Neither should you. It's very, very powerful stuff. There's another little aspect I want you guys to think about. So in the intestinal tract, right about down here, okay, um, is where... I'm going to flip over again, is where the small intestine meets the large intestine. So 
if you're having issues around that lower left quadrant, um, or if you're feeling negativity, negativity in that lower left quadrant, you could be experiencing issues between um, going from an absorption process, which is what the large intestine is about, to an elimination process. Okay, so if you are feeling um, energetic issues around there, that's something for you to think about. Guys, on a final note, what you need to, and I keep saying, I'm going to put my glasses back on, as I roll all over the floor. This is an interesting video, isn't it? Um, the point of this entire process is to allow your emotions, <laughs> yes, hair, um, is to allow your emotions to be released. So if you, you know, when you've got your hands on particular areas of your body and you are in a focused state, you may experience um, memories that pop up. Or if you're going through a particular situation that, um, <laughs> I know, right, Lee? Um, if you're going through a particular situation and, and you go through this process, what's likely to happen is that you will get the memory of other situations that mirror what you're currently going through. This is part of the process. This is part of acknowledging, this is what I'm going through now. Wow, I went through that at that age. I went through it at that age. I remember that happened. Oh my God, I behaved that way. When you are tapping in to the energetic um, responses of your body, it will trigger memories. This is why I say, do not take this lightly. Do it in a safe space. If you need to have someone in the house or have someone around, um, I'd recommend that. If you're comfortable enough doing it on your own, then by all means, just be aware this is very, very powerful. Okay. I hope that's helped some of you. Um, the, the key aspects of it are find yourself a safe space. Put yourself into a relaxed position. Keep your knees bent. What that does is it locks the energy into your abdomen, um, into your torso area. Then hover your hands over your body. If at first you don't feel anything, that's okay. Keep doing it. Just kind of this kind of thing, just hovering. And what you'll find is that your hand will start to stutter or stagger over an area where there is an energetic block, okay? And that's where you can start. If you go in there with your left hand, you're dealing with aspects of yourself, okay? If you're going in there with your right hand, you're dealing with um, memories and aspects of how the external world has impacted you. Okay, allow the emotion to release. If I could really, if I could explain to you the convulsions that I went through on the weekend going through this process, I, I, I kind of almost think you wouldn't believe me. But if you try it yourself and you have that reaction, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, allow it. Scream, yell, cry. This stuff needs to get out. And I guarantee you, once you do that, you will feel different. You will feel different. You'll feel like, wow, I finally got rid of that shit. Now, here's the next bit of it. Once you get rid of that, the next thing will come up. Okay, so you do need to be prepared. So, um... You know, without, okay, so I am all about authenticity. So what I'm going to tell you now is that the emotions that I processed through was extreme anger, extreme anger and um, not necessarily a poor me aspect, but it was how the fuck could you do that to me? It was that kind of anger. Now, once I'd cleared that, my head was clear. I was great for a good solid 12 hours. And then you know what came up? Spite. Every single emotion has a tail end. Now, I'm saying that, you know, that little spot that I felt on my gallbladder, that's spite. That's coming through. I have to process through that. As we process through our emotions, it makes way for more cleansing. You get rid of one lump of crap, the next one's going to come along and you need to be ready for that. Is it worthwhile? God, yes. Yes. 
it is worthwhile. If you value yourself, if you value the life that you want to live, you do this for yourself. Do it. Or get me to do it for you. You know, you're worth more than, than living a life in pain and suffering and, and doing yourself a disservice every single day because you're too freaking stubborn to address your past issues. Really. This is not spite now. This is passion. And this is a little bit of anger because so many people out there don't do this for themselves. They don't respect themselves enough to take the time to do what needs to be done to get rid of the past once and for all. And I guarantee you, people, once you do that, anything is possible. Amazing awaits on the other side of doubt. Do it. Okay. So, guys, if you do try this technique, let me know how it goes. I'd be really, really, really interested. I am really passionate about energetic medicine. I have seen amazing results on myself and on the clients that I work with. And if you guys have any kind of result from this process at all, let me know. Let me know. I would love to hear it. And the more of us that get into this energetic awakening, the more of us that, that band together and make our own lives better, we can change the world. I'm so glad that all of you are on this journey with me. I love you all so very much. Have an awesome day and I will see you again tomorrow morning. Mwah! Love you all. Bye.